So, the computer they built the other day, having trouble with it, I wanted to install, I wanted to install um, Mac OS on it, Hackintosh, that's not working out, don't know why. And Final Cut 10 is my uh, editor of choice for video, so I need to get that sorted or I need to switch. Now, I got the trial of Adobe, been using Premiere, sunk back into it straight away, only took a couple of minutes to, to sort out my shortcuts and that. It's fine, I just don't want to spend the money on Adobe, I don't think the value that they offer is amazing when you consider what else is out there. Problem is, my graphics card that I ordered when I ordered this machine got lost in the post, so I bought one that was cheap, I told you this already, I spent 40 quid on it just to get me up and running, see what, see if the computer was working so that I could get it just built and and whatever. So, I managed to actually find a really good deal on a used, better graphics card than the one that I originally got for exactly the same price. So, actually it was £11, no it was £10 cheaper, but there was postage, so it was £1 dearer. Let's open it up, I wanna see what it is. I mean, it's, it's, so the old one, the, the one that was 40 quid is pretty much spot on. It's absolutely fine. I don't play games. I did try some games. I played Fortnite for the first time ever. Woo! Not for me. Boring, if anything. Um, it's um, the only problem with that graphics card. No point in me doing that because I'm right down here. Microphone's up here. The only problem with that graphics card is that it doesn't meet the minimum specs for DaVinci Resolve, which is annoying. So I got this new one, it's a Vega 64. I don't know if that's any good. I don't know anything about computers really. I know that my Macs have always worked well enough. So let's open it up. I mean, one thing I've got to say is this guy took an offer that I was surprised about, but then has sent this, like so well packaged, it's unbelievable. Sent it special delivery. Only, I didn't expect to get it till like halfway through next week. Can't even get into it with my knife because he's packed it so well. What a legend, thank you. Yeah, he's packed this like perfectly. This is... He put the original receipt in it, cost him 270 quid, like... Really not that long ago, what did it say now? October last year. So this is the guy. This is MSI Radeon RX Vega 64. Shiny. Like I've said before, I don't know about computers. I just know that this one was the one that Quinn from Snazzy Labs used in his latest like, Hackintosh build. And I don't know, it was in budget. Why don't this come out? This feels way more substantial than the one that's in the computer at the moment. I feel like I should run some benchmarks. It's fucking freezing as well. It's so got three three display ports and an HDMI. So this guy, hopefully. <laughs> Be enough to run everything that I need at a decent enough speed. Uh, if it's not I'm fucked, hopefully it will also boot into Mac OS once I get that sorted. If I ever get that sorted, let's look at some benchmarks. I guess I, I don't know how to do benchmarks. I'll figure that out. I'll figure it out. I'll sort it out.
did it. I actually got it done. This has been one of the most frustrating processes of my... Uh, yes. you know the... This has been one of the most frustrating processes of my adult life. Getting an AMD Hackintosh set up. I wanted to do it. I wanted a little bit of a challenge, but I also wanted a better computer. I wanted something that would rival, uh, kind of rival the um, the new Mac Pro because I was kind of intending, I was thinking about buying it before the prices came out. Honestly, I thought they were gonna have like a 3000 pound model and that was like gonna be my next computer. And I was thinking about it, but 6,000 for the lackluster entry level model just didn't cut it for me so i thought let's build this thing hopefully you've already watched me building the actual computer because that was frustrating well that was that was easy compared to what came next Extra. I, did, I couldn't even bring myself to film what came next it was it was too much it was too frustrating a couple of nights like up till four in the morning just like why is it not working? But I'm gonna point you in the direction, just in case this is something you're gonna do, I'm gonna point you in the right direction. I had to bring this to next to where the, the router is because um, because it wouldn't work any other way. And so it's like set up on the floor of the living room at the moment. So there's that. I need to set my desk back up in the other room. I need to, I've got some, some wheels for the bottom of it, some casters to, to to go on the bottom of it. Eventually I wanna have the computer set up on a little shelf so the desk can move out from it, all wireless, um, and then just have the, the monitor, one monitor at the moment, just have that set up on, on straight onto the wall. And then the desk can like move out and move out of the way and I can like use it for other stuff because I don't wanna have several tables. I've already got this one, which is kind of my little, um, like if I need to put anything on the show on camera, uh, I can do that. This is my, this is kind of my new setup as well. So I'm putting together a load of videos for LinkedIn or on LinkedIn, not for LinkedIn. Um, and I need a setup where I can just like knock out 20 videos in a, in a day. They're going to be short informational videos. Kind of like if you watch Linus Tech Tips, they've got a, a separate channel called Tech Quickie. That kind of thing, but just really just to do with video. Ah, this gets heavy if you hold it up too long. And yeah, so I wanted a setup like that, something that can like just be attached to the ceiling, gets out of the way, but then also I've got a little bit of something, something, something to, yeah. So I'm gonna put this desk together. to move the computer back in there. But do you know what? I'm gonna have some lunch first. Mm -hmm. 